Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host, Jennifer. I probably should have closed the front door. <laughs> my wind chime is probably going to be a little louder. The screen in my, my uh, screen door is open. So there's wind coming through and you're probably going to hear my wind chime. And the reason I was just outside is because I wanted to do a test thing. <laughs> it's very gloomy outside. It is very gray. It is very overcast. And I had to go outside for a second. And if you watched yesterday's video where I featured the hipster cotton, you will have saw me talk about this yarn. <laughs> this is a new yarn from Premier's. And right now it is only available at Michael's. It is a limited time yarn. And it will soon be available on Premier's website. This yarn looks like just your average ball of white cotton yarn but it is anything but average it is quite spectacular if you ask me I'm going to talk to you about the yarn first I have it in three colorways I know they all look white trust me they're not white <laughs> so this yarn is a new cotton yarn like I said it is retailed for $7.99 it is 100 grams 229 yards 100% cotton it is a lightweight number three. This cotton is a very nice soft cotton and it is, I believe, the same base as their new cotton sprout. And also the yarn that I featured yesterday, the hipster cotton. These all, if you look at the, if you look at the yarns up close, these yarns all look like they are the same yarn with different colorways. So I think the yarn base is the same. So they're spun the same. They are all a lightweight number three. They all kind of go together. Like you could intermix these in a project very, very easily. <laughs> but what is so special about this yarn? It changes color in sunlight but I'm gonna tell you a magic trick I just went outside and there is not a ray of sunshine to be had it is very overcast it is very gray it is very gloomy out it looks like it could pour rain any minute and it still works from the UV rays in the sun in the atmosphere now we are going to take a quick little trip outside, which means I have to turn my cool light off and unplug it. Because I'm going to take the stand out so that I can carry this and show you the magic. Okay, so this is one last look. This is what it looks like. It's just white. This is what it looks like inside the house. Let's go on a trip. I'm going to try to not shake you guys too much, but... We're going on a trip. If this kind of movement makes you dizzy, just close your eyes. I'll tell you when to open it. Okay, see white? It's white. It's white. Let's turn it around so I can open the door. You guys ready for this? Don't mind Scarlet. I scared her. Let's step down off the porch. You see anything yet? You see anything? It's changing slowly because it's very dark out here. You see the pinks and the purple? It is so pretty. You see this one's pink marled. This one's just solid pink. And this one's purple marled. Just in the shady, the shady light, it changed color that fast. <laughs> is that not the coolest yarn you have ever seen in your entire life? Now it stays very pastel even if it's full sun out. But I assure you that is no longer white. <laughs> it is no longer white. Look at that. All right, guys. Let's go back inside and I'll show you how quickly it turns back to white. Whoop! I got caught on the I got caught. Right, now I got to got to open the door. Get back. 
Get back. Girls. Alright, and now you can almost see the color better indoors. I'm going to <laughs> turn my light back on as quickly as I can. Because just as quickly as that changed outside, it changes back to white. Just as quickly in the house. So, look at that. <laughs> ah! Back to white. Is that not the coolest thing ever? I feel like my light is up too bright. You still see the pink is trying to come through? And it is gloomy gray. It does get darker than that. And it gets darker than that really fast when the sun is out. But I'm so excited because <laughs> it even works when it's cloudy outside. Can you imagine now mixing that with any one of these yarns? And it'll just look white. And then the second you step outside, you'll get those pinks or those purples. It's also going to be available in yellows. But, so yellow, we'll go with any of these three cottons. <laughs> So I'm so excited about this yarn. Now, like I said, this is only available right now on at Michael's. You can order, if your store is going to stock this yarn, you can order it for online pickup through the website. I don't know how fast it will become available in your store, but you can still try to or place the order online and pick it up in store because that is exactly how well that's not that's not how I got this yarn. <laughs> that is how I'm able to get it today if I wanted to get more. That is how I got this one because Michael's website updated. Now I, I told the story in yesterday's video when I discussed the hipster cotton. So if you want to hear more of the backstory of how I got this yarn, you can head on over and watch that video. But that one is the one that's messed up. I want the tighter one. There we go. So I was stalking the website when this yarn finally popped up. I clicked order, pick up in store, paid for it on the internet. And then they filled my order even though they have not put it on the floor yet. This yarn was not on the floor yet and I was still able to order it because it was on the website and said it was in stock in my store, right? The chameleon, I tried to do the same thing with because it became available on the website but it would not let me finish the order and in the order I had three different colorways and it kept saying one of them was out of stock and it wouldn't let me finish the order and it wouldn't tell me which one was out of stock or which ones were out of stock so I was like getting frustrated so when Mr. Cinnamon went shopping I asked him to pick up this order for the hipster cotton and I said can you just like ask them about this yarn while you're at Michael's and so he went in and he talked to several employees at Michael's until he found the right one that knew what yarn he was talking about. And she's all, let me go get you. And she got him four, she, he actually told me a story. She got him four different colorways, the purple and the pink marled and the solid pink and came back. And when he went to go ring it up, the yellow would not go through and said it was not available for sale. So maybe it's just not in their system yet. So maybe it hasn't been logged into their system yet that they have it. So this yarn is cool. And I know like it is not so dramatic how like it changed color in the, the shade. But it does get darker than that in the sun. And I will try to do a story or something when it's sunny out to show you guys just how dark this is <laughs> in the sun. I mean it's a pastel. It's never going to be like this color. But it's still really cool that it does that. And it makes me so excited. I've never seen anything like this before. Ever. Now I will say there is one downside to this yarn. And I don't know if it is the yarn. Or if it is because of where the yarn was at in Michael's. It has a really strange odor to it. It's not, it's not a bad odor. It doesn't stink. It might stink to some people. It smells perfumed and like I said I don't know because sometimes I will get yarn from 
other stores like Hobby Lobby is notorious when you buy yarn from Hobby Lobby it smells like whatever incense they're burning that day because you know Hobby Lobby is very scented okay you walk into the front anyone with allergies knows that when you walk in the front door of Hobby Lobby it is very very fragranced okay so much so that it actually will affect my breathing because I have I have borderline asthma but I've always had breathing issues my whole life they don't know why it's not technically asthma, but sometimes an inhaler works. It's like a whole thing. So when I, and I sense, scents make me very sensitive to this. Okay. This sitting on my desk, I'm five feet away from it. I can smell it. It reminds me of the one time that I worked with darn good yarns. It was a slight salty smell and then like perfumed. And I think the perfume is to try to overtake the smell of the, the dye process that they use for Darn Good Yarns. And I'm not the only one that has had this problem with Darn Good Yarns. It's a reason I can't work with this because the smell, it, it bothers me. It, I have a hard time with scents and, and stuff because I already, I can't breathe. I never can breathe. I have really bad allergies. So there is a smell to this. It has died down since it's been in my house. I totally inhaled cotton. I could feel it. <laughs> I could feel it. But I know if I leave this out, it will get my house smell a little bit more on it instead of the perfume, like the perfume will air out. Another thing that I can tell you that this kind of smells like is I have had cotton and I don't have any in my stash anymore. I found it at the thrift store. There was the sugar and cream cotton that smells, it's scented. They have aloe and they have um, lavender, I think. And this one is kind of in between the lavender and the aloe a little bit. So it's very perfumey right now. And I don't know if it's this yarn because I've only had it from Michael's. I'm going to order more when it's available on Premier's website because Premier... Michael's only had four colors. Premier Yarns has, I think they have several pink, several purple, and several yellow. So I want to say there's there's several colors that are going to be available on Premier's website. And I'm going to get them all because these are cool. <laughs> and I'm so excited. The fact that they change color. So, yeah. $7.99 price tag does not bother me because I have seen specialty yarns that do magic tricks. Like I've seen, there was a, there was some time ago, um, my LYS, uh, my local yarn shop had a fancy yarn that did something like this. It would change color in the sunlight and it was well over $20 for a, a small hank. And so $7.99 for this yarn is a very, very good price. And this is a very nice cotton. And like I said, it mixes with the cotton sprout it mixes with the hipster and the cotton sprout is only I think $4.99 I meant to pull up the website but I am like really <laughs> I'm really excited I don't want to look at my computer I want to look at yarn not p4 it's kind of awesome I just type p and premier yarns pops up let me see how much is the cotton sprout $4.99 for the cotton sprout. So if you don't have like, a, you want to make a project, you want to make it with this cool chameleon yarn, but you don't like have the money to make like a full on outfit with this whole, you know, you can mix this with the cotton sprout that coordinates with the color. So this one, let me see, this is the purple one. It would totally go on a project with this and it will look like if you want to do like the cotton sprout for $4.99 you buy a bunch of these and it could be like the body of the poncho or the body of the shawl and do like a really nice border and like a really nice bottom border in the chameleon yarn and it will look great indoors because it will look like you have a white border and then when you step outside it will magically turn to purple but it'll be a lighter shade of purple, but it will still absolutely go with that. I think that is brilliant. It makes me so excited. Or, or, you know, you mix it with that, make a smaller project. That would be cool. It'll look like it's white to go with it, but really, you know the secret. You know there's purple when you go outside. I'm just so excited with the possibilities. I am just trying to dream up. I am definitely 
definitely making myself a wearable out of this chameleon yarn. And I don't know if I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to just stripe in a bunch of the colors of the chameleon. And the only way people will know it's a striped garment is when I step outside into the glorious sunshine this summer. And I'm like, hey, look at my beautiful outfit. <laughs> I'm so excited. I know you guys can tell. I'm so excited about this yarn. The second I heard that they were releasing this, I was so stoked. I was like, that is so cool that they're coming out with color changing yarn. And it's neat because like no matter how, this light is really bright and I even tested it. I put it as bright as it goes and I moved it as close to the light bulb as I could get. And you see the indoor fake light does not make it change color. But even in the shade, outside the UVs make this change color. Magic, it's magic. Now I'm probably gonna crochet with that first, but I also kind of want to knit something with it. And I just got so many ideas. And you could probably even knit this tank top for the hipster yarn with the chameleon yarn because it's the same yarn base. The base is the same. You know I'm all about that base, about that base. Totally interchangeable. Totally interchangeable. Premier is doing it right. Okay, uh, Premier has always been my favorite. This is not at all a sponsored video. At all. I do, I do have affiliations with Premier. But I didn't even ask for links for any of this. Because I am so excited about this. I just want you guys to know about this yarn. It is so neat. So I don't make anything off of showing you this yarn. This is just pure joy and excitement about... I'm so excited about this new yarn. I cannot wait to work it. I'm... That would be super cute, but we'll see. We'll see. This would even be beautiful in that pineapple top that I showed you guys last week. <sighs> My head is just swirling with ideas. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I was, I could not wait to show you guys this yarn. All the other videos that I have already recorded for this week are getting bumped and pushed to the end of the week so that I can show you this yarn first because it, this was just, I was ecstatic. And Mr. Cinnamon, actually, this was funny because when Mr. Cinnamon went to the store to pick up this order, and I told him to ask about the chameleon yarn, He's he came home from shopping, you know, whatever, and little man came in and was like, Mommy, we bought you a Nintendo Switch, which I knew was a lie because there's no way in heck I'm getting, I don't play video games, so for them to buy me a Nintendo Switch would be ridiculous. <laughs> so I was like, okay, and little man has a big mouth. He cannot keep a secret. Like, if he knows something, he's telling you within the first 30 seconds of seeing you. <laughs> so, they came in, and Mr. Cinnamon's like, well, I asked about that chameleon yarn. They had no idea what I was even talking about. They said they don't have none of that. And I was like, are you serious? I was upset. I was like, why did they put it on their website if they don't have it? Now I'm like, well, do I want to keep looking for the yarn? Do I want to wait till Premiere releases it? And then the next day was Mother's Day and I woke up and they handed me a bag and I saw this and I freaked out. They got me other gifts too. They got me, Mr. Cinnamon did really good this year. He, <laughs> I should probably make this in another video, but he had no clue when he left the house what to get me. And I was not helpful because I was like, well, I don't really need any more yarn. I told him about this, but I didn't think that was going to be a Mother's Day gift, you know. I would have paid for this myself. And... I didn't, I told Juju that I needed some new flip-flops. I wear the, um, the flip-flops with the cork bottom and like the leather straps across the toe. They're the most comfortable. I have really large feet and I have feet, my feet swell up a lot, especially like I'm very sensitive to salt because of my blood pressure and like when I travel, my feet swell up and I just like those because they're adjustable, they're stretchy, they're comfortable. And my, my other ones from last year are tore up. Like I wore the heck out of them. So that's the only thing I said. And I said, I don't need bath products because, you know, I, I love bath bombs. I have a local to me store. It is called Sugar and Spruce. I love their products. They are located in downtown Fredericksburg. They are amazing. Their bath bombs, they have like huge bath bombs. Amazing. And I, I have a ton because after Easter, they made Easter eggs that are like this big bath bombs. And they didn't sell a lot because COVID and like all, it has affected their business, okay? And 
they made a bunch of these Easter eggs and they just didn't sell them. So they have what they call blunder bags, which is either mess ups or overstock. And they put them in a three pound bag and they sell it for like a half the rate of what their bath bombs normally would be cost, would cost. And so we went in there and I actually got two blunder bags with these giant Easter egg bath bombs in it. And they smell good. They're just Easter egg shaped and they're way bigger than their normal ones. So <laughs> I have tons of bath bombs. So I was like, don't buy me any bath products. I don't really need, I'm stocked up right now. I have all the good stuff I need. And I did want this bath um, pillow for my bathtub, but it is an Amazon thing. It's been in my Amazon wish list forever. And I was like, can you just try to find me a bath pillow, something like that? That's all I told them. Mr. Cinnamon went to Tractor Supply, which is one of my favorite stores of all times because I dream of being a farmer. I want land. I want goats. I want chickens. Like, bit, I live in an HOA neighborhood. I can't have any of that. Like, this neighborhood is crap. These people are, I just, no. <laughs> I need a farm. So I love Tractor Supply. I like just going in there and looking at stuff, you know. And I found out Mr. Cinnamon went in there without me, but... He bought me, and I will pop a picture here. He bought me um, a wind turbine, like a farm looking one. It is so pretty and it's in my garden back in the backyard. And so like, I didn't even ask for that, but I have wanted one for, I kid you not, 15, 20 years. I just always see them. I'm like, those are so cool. And I, I take pictures of them. I just love them. And I even put it together all by myself. It's so pretty. <laughs> it's so pretty. So, when I saw that he also got me this yarn, like he did really good for Mother's Day. He did really good. And then he cooked me an amazing meal. He cooked us breakfast, but then he made um, all of our single, because we couldn't celebrate Cinco de Mayo on Cinco de Mayo, which is the 5th of May. It's a Mexican holiday. Um, we always celebrate it with food festivities. We gather, we eat. That's how we celebrate it. And we always have the same meal. We have carne asada. We have... I make homemade refried beans. Um, Mr. Cinnamon makes homemade Mexican rice. His Mexican rice is so good. It's so good. Um, guacamole, we had some nopelitos, which is cactus paddle. Uh, me and my daughter love it. We put it on our tacos. Cactus is delicious. Um, jarred cactus kind of tastes like pickled jalapenos, but not spicy at all. But it has that same flavor. Except it's a little bit slimy like um, okra. <laughs> So there you go. It's a pickled okra, pickled jalapeno type mix. Like, you know, if you mix those two together, that's what it, that's what nopales taste like. And so, yeah. Um, so I had, we had our Cinco de Mayo dinner for Mother's Day, which was awesome for me. Awesome. Um, yeah. So, all right, guys. I know I threw in some Mother's Day information on my chameleon yarn video, but whatever. Whatever, my channel, my rules, right? <laughs> definitely, definitely go check out those yarns. They are amazing. The new hipster, the new chameleon, even the cotton sprout, I really like. These are really great yarns. I am so happy that they're interchangeable and that they go together and that I can just do all of the things or any of the things or whatever I want with these yarns. So excited. You will be seeing these yarns in the future because I cannot wait to work with this. The hipster cotton even. I can't wait to work with all of it. I almost gave this cotton sprout away in some of the mystery boxes. And I was like, no, because I really, really like it. And I'm so glad I kept it because now I can, I know, like, that feels the same. It feels the same. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I will see you in the next one. Bye.